This video will discuss the entropy of transition. So for a reversible process, we've defined that the change in entropy of or some small perturbation in the state of the system, ds, is equal to dq rev over t, the heat that occurs during that small change divided by the temperature of the system. And we also know that for a constant pressure process, we've derived in previous videos that the heat change that occurs during some system perturbation is equal to the change in the enthalpy, dh. So at phase transitions, the, temp the change in the temperature is going to be equal to zero. The temperature remains constant while substances change from solid to liquid, liquid to gas, etc. So the reversible heat that occurs during some constant pressure process is dh. So ds during a phase transition is equal to dh over t. So the entropy change of transition, delta transition s, as we would indicate it right here, where for whatever transition we have, we would just fill that in for this uh, trs down there. Entropy is an extensive state function. So being a state function, it just depends on the final and initial entropy uh, entropies of the system. So that's equal to an integral from the initial to the final state of ds, which is equal to the integral from the initial to final state of dh, which since the temperature is not changing during uh, this process, that we can pull that out of the integral, which is 1 over t integral from initial to final of dh. Enthalpy as well is a state function. So the integral of dh is just the final enthalpy minus the initial enthalpy. So we have 1 over t times h final minus h, h initial. So the enthalpy of transition divided by the temperature is equal to our transition ent entropy. All right, so this is the caveat that I mentioned in the previous video where if we want the entropy of a system at a given temperature, we integrate from 0 up to that temperature of how the entropy changes over t. Well, I said that's the case if we don't have a phase transition in the way because then we have to account for the entropy of that phase transition. So here's how we do that. So for temperatures below the melting point of the system, T of fuse or temperature of fusion, fusion melting, S of T equals the integral from zero to T of the constant pressure heat capacity of the solid, CSP being solid, divided by T integrated over T. If you're between the melting point and the boiling point, between the temperature of fusion and the temperature of vaporization, the entropy of that temperature is the integral from zero to the melting point of the solid heat capacity over temperature, plus the entropy of fusion, which would be the heat of fusion, so delta H of fusion over T, plus the integral from the melting point up to that temperature, so of the constant pressure liquid heat capacity divided by temperature. So CLP would be for the liquid. And if you're a gas at a temperature greater than the vaporization uh, temperature, greater than the boiling point, the entropy of your system is going to be zero to the melting point, integral of solid constant pressure heat capacity over temperature, plus the entropy change of melting, which is the, the heat of melting or the enthalpy of melting divided by T, plus the integral from the melting point to the boiling point of the liquid constant pressure heat capacity divided by temperature, plus the enthalpy of vapor, sorry, the entropy of vaporization. The entropy change of vaporization is the enthalpy change of vaporization divided by the vaporization temperature. All right, and then we have adding that to the integral of the melting, sorry, integral of from the boiling point up to the temperature of the constant pressure heat capacity of the gas divided by the temperature over temperature. So using this and our ideas from the previous video, we're now in a position to start uh, being able to compute the absolute entropy of a system for any given uh, temperature and pressure uh, should we know some various facts about the system like what uh, amount of heat it takes to uh, make phase transitions occur, and what are the heat capacities of the various phases of that substance along the way.